Now let's talk about the weather. We've already seen that Easy Sky dynamically toggles between different weather scenarios, but you can also disable this if you would like to. If you go into the settings and you go to weather, there is a checkbox called use dynamic weather. By default it's turned on and it means that it will toggle between all of these weather scenarios randomly. How it toggles between them is quite fancy because for every weather scenario you can set a certain weight and that weight is in the dynamic weather options and right now for a clear sky it's set to 1. What the system does is it will add all of the weights from all of these uh, weather scenarios so for this one it's also set to 1 uh, for clouded it's also set to 1 etc but if one of those would be set to half, there is half a chance of that scenario to be picked. So that way you can add some weight to certain weather scenarios that are quite common, but for example thunder and lighting, you don't want to have that all the time. You can set the weight to something much lower than that. In fact, thunderstorm is already set to 0 0.1, uh, and I'm not sure what thunder rain is set to by default. Let's see, 0 0.5, so that's also less than the normal uh, weather scenarios. And that way you can make sure that some things don't happen that many times. So that's how it chooses the weather scenarios. Now if you prefer that the system does not automatically change those weather scenarios, you can select the manually change weather scenarios button. This means that the system will no longer dynamically choose the weather scenarios itself, but you have to uh, say to the system, okay, now you need to go to this weather scenario. And the way you can do that is by calling a function. You go to the callable functions of EasySky. There is one saying set new weather scenario. You can call this from any other blueprint um, and the new weather scenario that you want to select um, well you could either create your own preset so you can do make weather scenario from uh, wait, wait, make weather scenario struct and here you can set your entire own struct if you want with a weather scenario however what you could also do is just grab one of the weather scenarios that is already in Easy Sky, like heavy rain, and just say, okay, switch to heavy rain. The minimum and maximum blend time is the blend time that it will take before it actually reaches this. The next property, the minimum max weather scenario change delay, is the when this is not turned on so when it's not autom um, manually changing weather scenarios but when it's automatically changing weather scenarios there is a delay between um, when it finished transitioning to a new weather scenario and picking a new weather scenario and changing to that this is in minutes so it will take a minimum of 10 minutes before it picks a new one and a maximum of 300 and you can change this to whatever you want. Uh, the next one is the velocity of the rain, which is the speed of how, how fast the rain comes down. Um, you could probably leave it to the default if you want. Uh, there's not really a, uh, a need to change it. There is a checkbox used wind particle, and for that we need to have a look at the rain. Uh, let's pick one that's not so foggy. So medium rain for here. And if we enable that, then we will see some streaks of wind coming by. Ah, there we have one. And it looks pretty good in the forest. However, if you're in a city or something, it doesn't look that good. So by default it's turned off, but if you want you can enable it. It's a little bit more of a weather effect, which looks pretty cool.
uh, but it, it's also quite overdraw heavy so it could be quite expensive that's why it's turned off by default then we have a maximum actor distance this is for actors uh, around the player that are being taken into consideration when doing the collision checks uh, for rain uh, I would just leave this at the default of 80 because that has been tweaked to a value that looks good if you want you can change it, it might increase some performance or decrease it but I would advise to just keep it the same uh, and then we have the rain and snow collision channels and the classes to ignore which we already talked about 